For centuries, Barbary pirates from northern Africa had been capturing ships and enslaving citizens around the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. The Barbary states comprised of Algiers, Tunis, Tripolitania and Morocco. And although Morocco was independent, the other three states lay under Ottoman control. However, their leaders often acted somewhat independently. By the late 18th century, their power was dwindling, but European power still feared the pirates and offered them tribute in return for peace. So when America achieved its independence, their ships were no longer protected, and US ships were quickly captured by Barbary pirates. However, Morocco was one of the first nations to recognise American independence, but the Americans ended up paying over one-sixth of their national budget to the other states in order to release hostages and pay tribute for free passage through the Mediterranean. This crisis resulted in the creation of the US Navy and a resentment of the North African states. Plus, from 1798 to 1800, the Americans fought revolutionary France in the Quasi-War at sea, which gave their new navy valuable experience. And then, in 1801, when Thomas Jefferson became president, the Pasha of Tripoli, Yusef Karamanli, demanded that he should be paid as much tribute as the other Barbary states. But Jefferson declined this, so war was declared in May. The American navy was dispatched without Congress having voted, meaning there was no declaration of war, but the conflict did have the backing of Congress in the end. Once in the Mediterranean, they met up with the Swedish navy, who were fighting the Tripolitanians themselves, plus the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, who, while having just made peace with the French, supplied ships and men to the Americans to help destroy their old enemies across the Mediterranean. Commodore Preble then blockaded Tripoli, but the well-defended city was largely unaffected by it, so the Americans soon lifted the blockade. There were a couple of small naval battles in 1801 and 1802, but they also proved indecisive. And in October 1803, the Philadelphia ran aground and was captured by the Tripolitanians. The Americans were unwilling to see their ship used by the enemy, so raided the harbour of Tripoli and set fire to the ship before fleeing. Then, with reinforcements, the Americans were able to effectively blockade Tripoli again, and in mid-1804, the Americans bombarded the city harbour but their fireship Intrepid was destroyed before it could inflict substantial damage. So the Americans changed tactics. They learned that Yusuf Karamanli had exiled his own brother in order to become Pasha. So Marines landed in Alexandria in Egypt, gathered a group of 500 mercenaries, and marched on Tripoli, looking to replace Yusuf Karamanli with his brother. In late April 1805, they arrived at and successfully captured the city of Derna. So facing the prospect of an invasion of Tripoli, Pasha Karamanli sued for peace. The Americans agreed to pay the ransom for all the hostages, but the Tripolitanians could no longer demand tribute. However, after the war, in the chaos of the Napoleonic Wars which Europe was embroiled, US shipping was attacked again, this time by the Algerians. But the Americans were focused on tensions with the British in North America and eventually the War of 1812. So the emboldened Algerians refused the ransom payments and declared war on the US in 1812. It was only in 1815 when America ended their war with Britain that President Madison dispatched the now large US Navy to North Africa. They arrived in June and quickly defeated the Algerians in naval battles and forced them to pay reparations. Plus, the Napoleonic Wars ended that year and the European powers agreed that they should suppress the pirates. So, a combined British and Dutch fleet set sail for Algiers and bombarded the city in 1816, forcing the day to free thousands of Christian slaves. So, the Barbary states no longer threatened the Europeans as they once had and eventually in 1830, the French annexed Algeria, effectively ending Barbary piracy. And as a quick bit of trivia, the Marines hymn references these wars when they sing about the shores of Tripoli. And you too can be as fit as a Marine if you sign up to Skillshare and join their many fitness courses. Okay, that was a bit of a stretch, but I am currently taking art courses to improve my poor drawing skills to help improve these videos. And you can find classes in a whole range of subjects from business design to web development. So like me, you can try and improve your career and future prospects, or just quench your thirst for more knowledge. And if you sign up at the link in the description, you can get a free two month trial. And after that, it is just less than $10 a month. Plus there are even history courses out there like the complete guide to the Renaissance, or maybe even how to complete your own family tree to find out what your relatives were doing during this period. I'm sure you'll find something you like.